Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming today. Uh, we're here to dedicate and ribbon cut this uh, wonderful brick memorial garden. Uh, before we get started, if everyone could uh, face the flag of our nation, and we're going to recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Present arms. Aye. Aye. Pledge, Pledge of Allegiance, Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, in justice for all. Thank you. Comrade Chaplin, may we have an invocation, please? Please bear with me. Almighty God, we thank you for bringing us together this day. Inspire us to worthy deeds and sound decisions, and direct us toward the attainment of our goals. We pray that you would bless and protect all our people, guide us on the path to unity and harmony, that, may be, that we may serve you and your people in keeping with your holy will. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. As we get started, I wanted to uh, acknowledge a couple people who, who helped uh, get this thing going. Obviously, our Eagle Scout candidate, Ryan Gimbert. Put your hand up, Ryan. Uh, his father, Captain Richard Gibbert, he put in uh, countless hours as well. Sir, can you put your hand up? And, uh, Shane Worley, our, uh, our on-site project manager. Uh, also here today, uh, we have a special guest, Congressman Yoder. Uh, and the, the mayor was here somewhere. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> How you doing, sir? <laughs> Welcome. Uh, so we wanted to, uh, we've got a couple people who want to say some things uh, for this. Uh, Congressman Yoder, would you like to say a few words to uh, get us started off here? Well, good afternoon, everybody. Happy Independence Day. It's my honor to join you all and to be here at the VFW for this special ceremony, uh, to be with our veterans and our current servicemen and women, and of course, our scouts, uh, the future of our country that are already showing their dedication to service. And so I'm just proud to stand up here with all of them. And it's, an, it's a, obviously an important day for the VFW because of the dedication. But of course, it is Independence Day. This is a day where we always reflect on what it means to be an American and our American values of freedom and justice and liberty for all and the men and women who uh, have put themselves in harm's way to fight for uh, those values and who ensure that the Constitution uh, remains intact and that our flag uh, flies uh, proud and tall and that liberty and freedom is protected around the globe. We owe them a great deditude of service and gratitude, especially those who paid the ultimate sacrifice uh, and never made it home. And so today is an opportunity to think about all those values but it's also an opportunity just to celebrate America. It's the greatest country in the world. How happy are we to be in proud are we to be Americans? USA. And I don't care whether you're a Democrat or Republican, we're all Americans and we all believe in this country. We all know it's the greatest country in the world. And it's time to unite as a country behind those values. And so that's what today is about. Uh, and so thanks for including me with that. We're going to have a, a nice ceremony. I won't belabor those points, but I do want to make uh, two other points. One, I want to give recognition to Shane Worley. Shane works in my office. All right, so Shane, what he does for me, and I want to tell you a quick story. When I got elected to Congress in 2010, uh, I was replacing Dennis Moore, who was our congressman for 12 years, and he was a Democrat, right? So Democrat, Republican. His staff was leaving. My staff was coming in, and Shane came in, and he said, look, I work for Dennis Moore. Uh, I care about veterans. I want to work for you because veterans are a nonpartisan issue. And it's about putting the veterans first. And I said, that's the attitude I want in my office. You're hired. We brought him onto the team, and he's been with me for eight years. And every day he works for our veterans and men in service to make sure they have the benefits and the, the things that they have earned uh, in service. And one of the things he did here was he uh, made all this happen and put all this together. And so with a lot of different folks. But I just Shane, Shane did a lot. So I just want to congratulate Shane, and I want to thank all these guys for the work they did. Uh, to make this happen and, and uh, of course our Eagle Scout uh, and our Scouts. Uh, the future depends on you and your, your work and your uh, uh, service today is what's going to build the fabric of what keeps America strong tomorrow. So as a United States Congressman, I know our future is bright because of our Scouts that are willing to go ahead and, and do their service now to show that America, uh, that service is not going to be lost in the next generation. So thanks to our Scouts and I wanted to recognize four Scouts 
who uh, uh, helped me out uh, on Memorial Day when I was presenting a flag at the Quindaro Memorial Ceremony in Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, Quindaro, as you may know, is a part of Kansas City, Kansas, which is part of the Underground Railroad. And uh, they had an old tattered flag. I went and toured it in an old tattered flag. And I said, I'm going to fly a flag over the United States Capitol. I'm going to bring it back here. I'm going to present it on Memorial Day. And some of these scouts helped me do it. So I wanted to add certificates for four of these scouts. Uh, first one is Ryan Gimbert. Thank you for help. Thank you. Riley Graham. Grant Logden. And Jaron Schlepp. Thank you all, and uh, thanks for coming out today to celebrate this, and for everyone who made, made this happen in such success. Uh, what a great tribute. And uh, with that, I will yield back the floor. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, next up, Ryan, I believe you have some words you'd like to say for us? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and happy Independence Day. Thank you for coming to the Memorial Garden dedication, and thank you, Congressman Yoder, for being here on such a busy schedule for this occasion. My name is Ryan Gimmer, and it was my honor to have had the opportunity to have led the Boy Scouts construction effort for this Memorial Garden. I'd like to start off by thanking VFW Post 7397, and specifically Shane Worley, for his guidance and mentorship on this project. I'd like to thank all the scouts, parents, and post volunteers graciously because without your help, we could not have completed this project. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge how much help our volunteers provided. This project had a total of 48 different people that contributed to its successful completion. Those 48 people contributed to a total of 548 hours of labor to this effort, and I think it's plain to see how well our efforts paid off. The inspiration from this project came from the vision laid forth by Mike Peterson, who wanted to give back to his fellow brothers that we, in this area that we now dedicate. When Mike approached me and told me about the opportunity for the project, I immediately accepted the opportunity to say thanks back to our local veterans. I wanted to give back to the men and women who have given up so much for us as a community and as a nation. I felt a special connection to this idea because of my family history of service and a path I may also one day walk myself. It is my desire that all veterans of foreign wars can look at this monument and feel the love that our community has for them. On this day where we celebrate the birth of our great nation, let us all celebrate those who have guaranteed our freedoms that we hold so dearly. Thank you all very much for your attending and help, and happy birthday, America. Nicely done, sir. Thank you so much for those great words. Uh, next up, uh, one of the uh, one of the mentors in uh, Ryan's life, uh, Mr. Sam Hanlon, the scoutmaster for Troop 487. If you could come up, sir. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the veterans who participated in this project for us. You know, we talk about these young men being our leaders of the future, but you need men of character, men of patriotism, to show them the way of leadership. And I wanted to thank everyone from the VFW who helped us do this project and gave us an opportunity to work with them and serve our community. Good afternoon and thank you for making it to the dedication of this project today. Um, I have no great words to say, but I would like to uh, read a poem that I once read as a young man, and it gave me solace through years of deployments, years of family separation, and to kind of encapsulate, encapsulates how I feel about my fellow veterans. The name of the poem is The Warrior of Many Names, and it was written by M.L. McKinley. The spirit of the warrior no time can ever claim. I ride the winds from age to age, and I'm known by many names. Born not to life, but to duty, my purpose to be slain, to lie at rest in hollow fields until called to rise again. Though from life to life I wander, it was not for life I came, but to march amongst the mist and smoke 
and help you learn my name. I seek not praise or fortune, no honors do I proclaim. My worth for all prosperity is bound up in my name. My hope but that you know me as peace is my only gain. And I ask the endless question, do you know my name? I have hastened then to every strife where freedom does proclaim. At Bunker Hill in Iwo Jima, liberty was my name. On a thousand fields and a thousand times, I was there and there I remain. Where my name is whispered in the grasses from Tripoli to Manassas and fortitude was my name. Is not my name forever ascribed on that long black memorial wall, on the stones of countless fields where the sons of right did fall? Do you yet know who I am? Do you yet know why I came? Do you know why again I must leave and once more in my name? I have stood in the ancient ranks from now until time began, and in the endless legions of the brave, and honor was my name. I was at Thriopoli with the 300 on that hot plain. With my life and mortality I bought, and faithful was my name. I came again in other times to those fateful fields of fame, at Guadalcanal, the Chosen Reservoir, Quay City, and Valor was my name. I have known the field, the trench, the wall. I have perished by the flame. I have suffered spear, sword, and rifle ball, and duty was my name. Do you remember me at Belly Wood? Weren't we brothers in Nam? There we shared our water and blood, and comrade was my name. Are we yet bonded by eternal links, our tears and blood the same? Didn't we fall together on distant fields, and sacrifice was my name? Do you know who I am? Do you know my secret name? Am I husband, brother, father, son, and does your heart now feel the same? I'm the spirit of the warrior and live time and time again. I've known no death of consequence unless dishonor was my name. When next we meet on distant shores and joy and hope shall reign, you'll, not, you'll know me not now as you know me, as peace will be my name. Thank you. That was beautiful. Uh, I guess you have a couple other things you want to do here, sir? Well, I would like to uh, call Shane Worley up here and uh, acknowledge him. I was a commander of a unit once, and as an Army commander, our custom is to have coins available to uh, immediately recognize excellence when you see it. Shane, display, Shane, through this project, has displayed a grace and excellence that is more warranted than a coin, but a coin is all I have to give him. So I'd like to present Shane Worley with a former commander's coin and thank him for his efforts on this project. Thank you so much. Outstanding. Outstanding. Okay, uh, next up we're going to ask the chaplain for a benediction, and immediately following that we're going to have uh, Captain Gimbert and Shane hold the ribbon, and uh, Ryan... Our gatekeeper will cut the ribbon and the patio will be officially open. So, Comrade Chaplain. Today we commemorate our independence from oppression and tyranny. We joyously celebrate the freedom declared on our behalf 242 years ago. Today we also acknowledge the sacrifices demanded of us to maintain not just our own freedom, but the freedom of all God's creation. Will you please pray with me? Heavenly Father, we ask your mercy for our departed comrades. May they have everlasting joy in your presence. Merciful Lord, bless the living who answer the call to arms. Keep, keep them always in your forgiving grace. Eternal Spirit, continue to strengthen the families who gave loved ones into your care and grant them peace. We ask that this garden now and forever be hallowed in your eyes. May each name be a solemn reminder of the burdens born to provide the freedom we enjoy today. We ask that each be also be etched in our hearts and help us to always be deserving of their sacrifice. May each blank brick remind us of the sacrifices yet to come. Grant us also the strength to always seek your will and fight for your oppressed children who cannot fight for themselves. 
Grant us the wisdom to seek your peace in this world, and grant us the fortitude to endure until your kingdom comes. Amen. Thank you all for attending, and thank you again to Ryan, our EO candidate, his father, and the entire troop, and all the volunteers. Thank you so much. There's still order forms for all these blank bricks. <laughs>